good morning or good afternoon class. Uh, today on the channel, we're going to be practicing how to plot the, some equations on the coordinate plane. You guys already know how to plot points on the coordinate plane. Now we are going to plot an equation. Uh, we're going to graph it, and then now you guys are going to know how to put it on some graph paper on the coordinate plane. So uh, make sure you like and subscribe on the channel and the video um, so you guys can share the videos along with more people so more people can understand how to do these topics. So uh, let's get to it. So you see this equation y equals x plus 3. You have an empty um, t-chart. You have an empty um, table right here with no x's, no y's. Um, you're going to fill the x's to the points that you want to find. Usually my favorite numbers to go with are the numbers 2, 1, 0, negative 1, and then negative 2. Um, you might be asking yourself, why not just pick all positive numbers? Makes it much easier. Uh, the reason why is you want to center the graph as best as possible so it like lines up perfectly. It just looks nice because if you pick all positive numbers or all negative numbers, your graph's going to end up somewhere around here or somewhere around there. It's just going to not line up perfectly. So you want to have the easiest graph possible. So. Um, as I've shown you guys in uh, previous videos, X is basically your placeholder. It is an empty box. You're trying to fill that box with these, uh, with these points right here, with these X values. So we're going to do that uh, now. You have the X value of 2. Basically, we're just going to solve for Y for all of these points. You have the X value of 2. We have 2 plus 3. You're going to get 5. You have 1 plus 3. You're going to get 4. You have 0 plus 3. You're going to get 3 negative 1 plus 3, you're going to get 2. Negative 2 plus 3, you're going to get the value of 1. So what we're trying to do is put the 2, put the 1, 0, all of your x values into the empty space, solve for it, and then you solve for y. Now you have uh, your coordinates to put on the coordinate plane. So now you have the point 2, 5. As like I said in a previous video on how to plot points, uh, the x value is positive, you're moving two to the right, one, two. You go up five, one, two, three, four, five. Your point will be right here. Now the next point is one, four. So you're going to the right one, uh, and then you're going up four spaces. So one, two, three, four. Now the next one, you have the point zero, comma, three. Um, you might not see the comma, but basically imagine each one as, in parentheses, as a comma right here. So imagine that one for all of them. That's, that's why I'm saying they're coordinate points. So 0, 3, you're not going to move uh, any point, any, uh, any spaces to the left or to the right. You're going to stay in the middle because it's 0. And then 3 spaces to the top. Like I said, you're going uh, not any spaces to the left or to the right, and you're going 3 spaces to the top. So that is where that point is. The next one, you have negative 1, 2. So the negative 1, because it's on the x value on the, x, on the table, you're going to the left one space and then up two spaces. So you go one left, up two, and then your point's going to end up here. The last one, you have negative two, one. So you're moving to the left two spaces and then up one. So one, two, and then you're going to go up one and then boom. Now you have your points. And as you kind of see, they're kind of lining up perfectly to be a straight line. So now you can get a ruler or uh, try your best to draw a line. And then you're going to draw your line, boom. And that is going to be your equation. You're always going to name your line. So this uh, this line is going to be named y equals x plus 3. That's going to be the name of this line. So that is your line. And now for any other points that you want to pick, let's say you want to pick negative 5. Let's say you want to pick x equals 10. All of those points are going to land on this line because this line continues on forever and ever. It goes on to the right, it goes on to the left, up and down. Um, yeah, it keeps going in that same direction, and any point that you pick will land on this line. All right, now let's move on to the next equation, y equals 3x plus 1. Uh, the only difference with this one is the, the 3 in front of the x, but you know, same process as always. Um, like I said on the previous equation, I want you guys to choose um, the same numbers, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, the easiest numbers to, to draw your line perfectly. Now. Uh, think of x as an open box that you're trying to fill up. So you do 3 times 2 times 2 plus 1. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. Uh, you do 3 times 1 plus 1. So forget your order of operations. 
three times one is three, plus one is gonna give you four. And then the next one, three times zero plus one, three times zero is zero plus one is one. Um, the next one, three times negative one plus one. Three times negative one is gonna give you negative three. Negative three plus one is gonna give you negative two. Uh, lastly, three times negative two plus one. Three times negative two is gonna give you negative six. Negative six plus one is gonna give you negative five. Now, we have our points, we have our x values, we have our y values. Now we're gonna plot that uh, on our coordinate plane. So you have the value, uh, or the coordinate two seven, two comma seven, you're gonna move to the right two spaces and up seven spaces. So one, two, to the right, up seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next one is one, four. So you're gonna move to the right one space, one, and then up four spaces because it's positive. One, two, three, four. So it's gonna be that same point right there as the previous one, that's the purple one. Now, zero, uh, you're not gonna move left or right any spaces. And then one on the Y value means you're gonna go up one. So don't move any spaces, up one, boom. Uh, next one, negative one on the X value, on the X side it's gonna say uh, that you're going to the left one space and then down two spaces. So left one, down two. And then lastly, you have negative two, negative five, and then negative two, um, you remove left two spaces, one, two, and then down five spaces, one, two, three, four, five. It's gonna be down right here. You kind of see that they make a, a different line. So now you wanna connect all these lines and then create a line as well. You're also going to name this line the equation it belongs to. So this belongs y equals three x plus one. And there you go. Uh, hopefully you guys learned how to make a table with no values to pick your numbers, to try to draw a pretty dang good uh, graph with your equations. Now you know how to draw these equations. So whenever your teacher asks you, now you know how to draw them. Hopefully you guys learned a lot. Make sure to like and subscribe in the video and the channel so you guys can share it to many of your friends and hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you.